Okay, biggest movie controversy of all time. Could Jack have fit on that door at the end? Oh <laughs> my gosh, I thought it. I remember bawling my eyes out when I was I have no girl comment. Being <laughs> That's telling, I think. That is the biggest controversy, I what, think. What, ever. In modern cinema and, and ever. history. Could you, could you, could you squeeze her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No comment. <laughs> Did you mention it at the time? Were you like, should it's, we make the door smaller? So like I said, I have no comment. <laughs> it's movie magic, it's my friend. It's controversial. It's movie magic. <laughs>this movie is amazing it's uh, you, you've probably heard this before but it is definitely a, a love letter to movies movie going movie making the unsung heroes that make movies television LA there's a lot there but what I would really want to do with you guys is because I feel like all four of us are big movie fans is let's revel in our love of movies for a second okay mm. what's the movie that you grew up with that made you obsessed with movies what was the first movie that mm. got you obsessed East of Eden all right, James Dean. Well, the first film that I remember seeing was uh, the black and white original King Kong with my dad downtown and bursting into tears and mm -hmm. falling in love with movies at that point. But when I, you know, got to become an actor, it was watching that very vulnerable James Dean in East of Eden who just blew me away. Yeah. Blew me away. The first movie I remember being my favorite movie that I watched like 50 times over. Uh, was Robin Hood Men in Tights and <laughs> I was like five and it was kind of inappropriate of a movie for a five-year-old to watch every day That's but really I funny. loved it. it That's really funny. For me it was the drive-in. We would see films at the drive-in mm -hmm. early days and it was. It was the ones that made me cry. It was gargantuan. Gargantuans? Gargantuans. Uh -huh. It was a good gargantuan, bad gargantuan. I don't remember it. No. It's, you, it's, <laughs> only Quentin would know about it. And the good one has to sacrifice himself to take out the bad one. Tears. And then I went straight from that to Butch and Sundance. Mm. And then the ending. Tears again. Mm. There's a great moment in the film where your character Sharon sees her face and name on a poster, on a marquee, and on a big screen. Do you remember that moment for you guys, like when the first time you saw your name or mm. face, and was that a big moment? I do. It was parenthood, and on the Warner Brothers lot, there was a big poster of me, and I stood there for hours and had my mother take. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you're gonna have to leave. Good on you for admitting. <laughs> there was a poster of Pan Am in Times Square, and I remember like I had just gotten to America, and now I'm in Times Square, and I'm like 30 feet high up there, and it was so. I remember asking someone to take a picture of me. <laughs> I was like, oh, could you, could you take a picture of me? Like, I'm going to stand right here. And I kept cropping out the poster and I kept having to be like, no, I need it. I need that, all of that in there. That's the point of the picture. And they're like, why? And I was like, I just need it in there, please. That's sweet. That's a little Sharon Tate going to see yeah, film. Is there a classic movie that you would be sad to admit right now you've never seen? Gone I'm with seen. the Wind. What? You've never seen Gone I've with never the Wind? I've never seen Gone with the Wind either. Are you serious? You I guys have never well, seen Oh, my God. You have an excuse. I don't have an excuse. <laughs> Yeah. Gone with the Wind or Sound of Music. I've never seen. I have I never figured, seen Sound of Music. What? <laughs> I figure I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Like a thousand times. Wow. I remember when we did Wolf of Wall Street, you would get angry at me all the time. Every time I'd mention any movie I hadn't seen, he'd be like, how have you not seen Citizen Kane? How can you work in this industry and not have seen Citizen Kane? I'm like, I just got here to do Citizen Kane. Like, you've had more time to watch this stuff. And then I went home and I'd go watch Citizen Kane and watch all the movies. He's like, you have to see this. You have I figure to see I've, this. I've gone this long. Now I start now. I'm going all the way. I'm, I've never I'm, seen I'm, any I'm, Star I Wars. To see it now. And, and I kind of don't watch it now just because it infuriates people so much. Like, how? How have you never watched any? <laughs> any Star Wars, and I just kind of want to see how long I can make it now. Let's go deep. Some, some big <laughs> movie-going existential or profound controversies over the years, and one that struck me watching the movie. Sharon puts her feet up, her bare feet up, on a seat in a movie theater. And they're dirty. Well, yeah, I don't even care if they're dirty, man. I mean... <laughs> dirty, dirty feet. <laughs> dirty feet. Quentin likes how dirty. dare you dirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> but is that ever appropriate in a movie theater for someone's bare feet to be put on in a seat? In the 60s it sure was, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't, I wouldn't know. That's a good question. <laughs> I did think about it. I was like, does this, I don't want to convey that she's rude or impolite because she's neither of those things. If you had the space, if you don't have neighbors close by, no I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's okay. Okay. Maybe not shoes it's right. anyway. It's not shoes, right. it's just your feet. Right. Uh, Larry David may have a problem they, with but that. But they still. were dirty. They were dirty feet. <laughs> a couple other important um, <laughs> movie there, yeah. Leo on, on this group is the only one that's alluded comic book movies. You've done your time as Vanisher. Congratulations. Thank your role you. was amazing at Deadpool 2. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that, oh yeah, I was like, what are you talking you. about? That's right. That was really funny actually. Is that is that it for you? Have you capped out? Is that you topped out? I think I've taken as far as I can take it. <laughs> 
It's kind of mic drop. That was that was a good scene. Ryan Reynolds came up with a, a part that I could fill. It's very funny. I'm completely them. lost in everything that's being talked about. You're so Rick Dalton right now. Um, Oblivious Rick Dalton, huh? <laughs> oh my God, Leo's still in character. <laughs> By the way, yeah, what, 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 what I carry my characters a year after. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing for you, there's an epic kind of a brain freeze moment for your character in this film where he just like melts down and you can't mm. get through it. Did that remind you of any particular moments in your careers where like you just could not get through a scene for whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. A few sure. of them come to mind. Definitely, so many come to mind. I think we've all had those experiences, and they're the worst. They're, they're, they're the, the, the nightmare of going to school in your underwear, yeah. but yeah. the real live yeah. version of it. And you just can't get out of your own you head. You got a hundred people yeah. on the set, yes. and you're, everyone wants to move on to the next or go home. You have a co-star who's already done theirs mm -hmm. and done it well, yeah. Yeah. and they're waiting on you. I once had to do a scene where I had to be speaking Lingala, and there was also like stunt stuff happening at the same time, so it was really crucial, and I just couldn't speak. I couldn't, like, I was yeah. like, and I, I've practiced this yeah. for so many months, and I cannot get my mouth around this language right now, and I kept messing it it's, up. And it was really has to do mortifying. with being incredibly exhausted. I remember yeah. doing, uh, on The Aviator, I had a massive dialogue sequence, and then I just had two lines the next day. That was my whole day, and I couldn't, <laughs> literally yeah. couldn't say those yeah. words. And poor Scorsese, yeah. Scorsese was just sitting there waiting like 40 takes later, like, oh my God, how, <laughs> I could not say these two lines. Did it make the movie? It did.